Hey there everyone, what's up? Welcome back to another video on Film Mania. Considering one of the master auctioneers within his field using his signature yup catchphrase, Dave Hester made waves on Annie's popular reality series, Storage Wars. Thanks to his aggressive bidding style, he was often seen playing the role of reality show villain to attain the sales he wanted. Here's everything to know about Dave Hester's private life, including net worth, family, and untold secrets. Before we begin that, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out. Also, if you're a fan of the show, then drop a like to this video. Alright, let's get to it. Making a fortune. Despite the fact that he left Storage Wars in 2012, Hester made a fortune for himself on the first three seasons of the reality series. His payday for the show, which consisted of a whopping $300,000 annually or $25,000 per episode, puts him among the highest paid cast members, and rightly so, based on his expertise as a pro bidder and auctioneer. According to sources, Hester already had a 30-year experience in the industry by the time he was recruited to join the A&E's hit show hence the size of his paycheck. Based on what was revealed by Net Worth Reporter in 2019, Dave Hester's estimated net worth had reached an enormous $4 million during that year, and as of January 2021, it's estimated at $6 million, and is still expected to rise. Post Storage Wars Success Hester found a successful way of ensuring that his fortune continues to grow even after his time on Storage Wars was over. With a name well known to reality TV fans, he was quite confident as well as determined while establishing his own auction house called Dave Hester Auctions, which became the center of his focus after he left the show. He started investing a majority of his time looking after his company while running and consulting on auctions alongside renting out his services to members of the public who were willing to pay for him and his name. The idea behind capitalizing by starting his own venture was to channel his fame into a running business. Hester also intended to make sure that more people are educated on auctions and their value. Furthermore, the former reality TV star also earned some of his wealth through the properties he owned. In 1995, he purchased a house in Westminster, California alongside his wife for $155,500. And in 2018, the same bungalow was estimated to have a worth of $357,600. Family, Children, and Love Life when we talk about Dave's ethnicity, his father was German and Irish, while his mother, Mexican. Moreover, he reportedly led a happy married life with his ex-wife, Donna Hester, until they both parted ways. Since the couple mostly remained very secretive about their love life and kept details mostly to themselves, little is known about their marriage. What we do know is that the duo shares a son by the name of Dave Jr., who followed his father's footsteps into business. As far as the divorce is concerned, neither Donna nor Dave have ever revealed how their relationship came to an end. According to reports, the two were still married until 2016. However, things start looking different when the TMZ article published in October 2019 revealed the news of Hester dating his new girlfriend. Similar to his married life, Dave has kept his current romantic endeavor behind closed doors. Health Issues and Near-Death Experience According to a 2019 article published by TMZ, in late 2018, Dave Hester had to be rushed to the hospital in Newport Beach, California, where he abruptly woke up one night feeling sick and breathless. Upon reaching the ER, he suffered from a stroke, resulting in him spending several days in the ICU. The popular auctioneer was then transferred to a rehab facility, and as shocking as it sounds, he suddenly went from hunting treasures and storage lockers to learning how to do everyday tasks. Thankfully, however, after efforts from neurologists and other healthcare professionals, the intense recovery time proved to be beneficial as Hester's condition improved over time and he was able to get back to work. Lawsuits After being a major star on Storage Wars for three seasons, Dave Hester filed a lawsuit against the A&E television networks in 2012, claiming that he was wrongfully terminated and that the high-rated series is rigged. According to the complaint filed by him in Los Angeles Superior Court, Hester alleged, A&E has committed a fraud on the public and its television audience in violation of the Communications Act of 1934, which makes it illegal for broadcasters to rig a contest of intellectual skill with the intent to deceive the viewing public. 
He also said that he was fired from Storage Wars after complaining to the producers regarding their fraudulent practices. Hester also went to court while battling against singer and rapper Trey Songs, who filed his lawsuit after learning the Storage Wars star had been granted a trademark for the phrase, yup, and this would make it illegal for Trey to use the same phrase on a musical record. Hester then countersued, saying that not only did Songs forget to apply for a trademark, but his version of yup is slightly different than his. It doesn't matter to Dave Hester whether he is liked among the masses or not, as long as he continues succeeding and making profits in the auction business. Would you be one of those who doesn't care about what people think as long as you're making money? Let us know in the comments. And with that, we conclude our video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, let us know by liking the video. Stick around for more amazing content as we will be seeing you soon.